I am studying mechanical engineering. I'm in my fourth and final year and I'm the president of FemEng. Whenever I joined uni in first year, I found that a lot of my classes were really male oriented. So it was kind of like five girls to like 60 or 70 boys. And then whenever I went to one of the FemEng, I think I went to the first networking event and just got to speak to lots of the other girls and the older girls. And you could see there was a real like, community and they were all friends. FemEng is a society at the uni that exists to empower women in engineering, to create a community, to support people, allow them to get to know each other, develop skills that will be really helpful in the workplace, but also to reach out into the community and do outreach in schools. It's open to anyone. I think when we see a lot at Freshers Fair, people come over and they see FemEng and they get a bit confused. They're like, female engineers? And they're boys and they're a bit like, can I even be in this? But I think it's very open to everyone. Like all of the programs that we run and the events that we do aren't like oriented at one single person. So if you come to like a CV workshop, everyone has a CV, everyone can work on that. If you come to networking, everyone wants to have a chat, so everyone can do that. We do a lot of networking events, soft skills events, workshops and things to develop skills. We get people in from industries and from companies to come in and help us do stuff like that. We have an amazing outreach computer who runs programs for, I think it's over 20 primary schools at the minute. We'll go in person to the schools and try and do physical workshops. We bring out this Meccano, which is kind of like big building blocks and get them to build things out of that. It's all about learning why we need fair representation in engineering and why it's important to have diversity and inclusion in the field and then sort of like what the different types of engineering are because it's not really something that gets covered in primary school. The thing that I hear quite a lot is like you can't be what you can't see so it's quite difficult to like see yourself in further roles and everything you go to is kind of male oriented so it's nice whenever you can actually mix and have a few girls with you as well. We run uh, quite a few socials throughout the year, which is just great to like expand your network and get to know people. On the other side of things, we have an international project, which is part of our outreach. So we've been to Rwanda and Kenya, and then this year we're going to Botswana. So we send a team of about eight to 10 girls out and they go and partner with the university out there and also try and push like industrial visits and things like that so that um, they can kind of see where their future is as well. Because for a lot of them, it's kind of pre-decided whether or not you're going to be going into that or not. Part of what it's done for me is open my eyes to the number of different career paths that there are. FemEng has given me the opportunity to speak to a lot of graduates and a lot of other biomedical engineers and just to hear what they're up to and what they're doing. And also just to practice networking skills. Like I feel like it can be quite a scary, quite a daunting thing. So just to be able to chat to someone and start to build those relationships, build a LinkedIn presence or whatever, um, I've benefited from FemEng a lot in that way.